It's one of the wettest places on earth with a population that would only fill half of Wembley Stadium. But the tiny Pacific island of Pompeii is where two friends are hoping to create an international football team. Paul Watson and Matt Conrad have set themselves the challenge. What happened was we were researching the most remote footballing nations in the world. We found Pompeii, which is you know, the only international team in the world and never to have won a game. We kind of, against all the odds, decided to travel across the world to do it. First training session yeah. on our way. I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah. I think it'll be a lot of people. This is not the, quite the turnout we thought, but. Technically, it is one man, but I think he has an England shirt on. That's not really regulation. Unfortunately, they really don't have any leader. Do you think people even care about soccer here? Yeah, they care. A few do. We went to see the sports minister, the lieutenant governor. In soccer, right. he's not really playing. I think because of the lack of organization, yeah. nobody really takes this sport and develop it. It's kind of sucks we have to give people's blessing. Oh, well, I know yeah. you have to. I know what you mean. It does feel weird getting his blessing to do what we basically already started doing and yeah, it's and only helping them. Like, yeah, and what people don't seem to give a about anyway. Yeah. It's been a week of being here with the most powerful man in the sport of football. They put the goals up for us. Put them up, put them up. That's progress. I think the English thing carries a lot of cachet. The new Dilshan has been playing an important role. What we didn't realise was that he brought this weird ragbag assortment of like gawkers who were there to see foreigners. People who wanted to steal our equipment. This is one rousing anthem. And we're the underdogs. Some of whom have played football this many times. I ate too much. Because they have real potential. Man. Come on, boys! You're sexy. Hey, Tui, how did the game go for you? Oh, wow. That's a tough one. Yeah! Already we're outsiders, so it makes our job harder. His pelvis is broken. He's like abdomen and his organs. The process of taking 16 athletes from this island to Guam stimulates the future growth of the sport. The reason they feel like this is because this to them is a World Cup. We have one World tonight. But it's a World Cup times 10 because they may never come back here. Do you have a message for the people back home in Pompeii? I want to make my country proud. So we're going to come back out here tomorrow with a determination and we're going to win. Quick, quick, quick! If we win tomorrow, this is going to change everything.